our newest thing that we're doing and I'm very excited about and it's doing really well is um, I've established a little free library. We have a charter membership that we have right outside of the front doors and um, it, it's been a huge success. We've received a phone call from the Disability Rights of Washington and they called us to let us know that we had won the Breaking Barriers Award for the state. One of the most important initiatives that we've had here in the store over the last few years has been creating the opportunities for people with disabilities. 20% 20, uh, 20 of our employees right now have some sort of a disability. Uh, and just amazing people. But that's the other side of the relationship. And that's the story that I think is so valuable for us and for our staff. That's the connection. We're tied into the schools, the Chamber of Commerce, um, Rotary. And then even the school kids at the high school across the street shop us every day. We kind of watch as employees, we watch to see if anyone's not buying stuff and we'll pass out $5 gift cards to help them buy lunch because we know they probably don't have lunch money. We had a student there who lost his dad during the football season and so we set up a fundraiser here where we sold hot dogs and hamburgers and then we raised many, all the football players would stand at the cash registers and raise many in their helmets for them. The relationships that we've built with our employees and then the community. So we donate to the Wairika Food Bank every week. We give them everything that we have that we can't sell. It could be just a church doing a fundraiser for someone and we'll donate to them too because we want them to know that we're here for them. We had a couple community members come to us about uh, seeking donations for uh, making sack lunches for um, some of the food challenged folks um, in the area and that started off just over a year ago um, with two people and it's taken on a life of its own where we have what five pickups a week now we donate time and money um, it's it's evolved to hundreds of people that they serve now from the 10 or 15 uh, at lunchtime twice a week that they would serve now it's it's hundreds to it and it's a great cause it's made a huge difference for a lot of people down here our favorite grocery out moment from the last year actually it's previous two years now it's become a tradition is the Association of Realtors in San Diego have an annual holiday food drive and so we will have uh, a horde of realtors come into the building with cash in hand and envelopes and they're trying to get the most for their money for their donations and they have a contest. Our favorite thing about owning a grocery outlet is just our ability to give back to a community to help out. Uh, we give out free fruit to kids that are in here shopping with their parents. Uh, we have an honorary heroes program for policemen, firemen, paramedics. Uh, we helped the AIDS life cycle that came through last year. Another organization that we partner with is Shadows Fund. They're a local pet sanctuary here in town. Um, they rescue a lot of high-risk animals. Uh, we donate old produce to help feed the pigs, which is great. It cuts down on our garbage costs. We, we do a ton, and we try to do as much as we can, as creatively as we can. Giving back to the community is just an obligation, we feel, from a business owner. It's easy for us because we're here, and we make the decisions. So Jen and I can quickly, within a day or two, make a decision to help out an organization that, that's in need. We work with Food Finders and Food for Kids um, to provide 2,600 meals every weekend for underprivileged kids in Long Beach. So uh, it's a great relationship that we have with them and it's, it's one that truly gives back to the community. Well, of course, last year, Independence for Hunger was just huge. It was, it was a fantastic event. We're very excited about this last year. We raised $23,000 uh, for our local food pantries here. And then at Spanish Springs, we raised over $19,000. So combined over $40,000, uh, we were able to help raise for the local community. So that was, one of the most exciting things we've ever been a, been a part of there. We give back to our schools. Um, we do a 3% give back program. Uh, we um, have done Pumpkin Palooza. We've done the Christmas Parade. Giving back to the community brings the customers to us and us to them. When people see us in the store, we are thanked every day. Our team is thanked every day that we're part of their community and they're part of our community.